Before every film, I always give a brief introduction about the film and then we go on to chat about the film with the maker himself. But with this film, I'd like to get a little personal. Personal because Lamhe is very special to me. Special on two accounts. It not only is my most favorite Indian film, but it also is one of the main reasons that motivated me to even turn director. I still remember the day I was watching it at the premiere and I told myself that I want to be part of this fraternity that made such a beautiful film like Lamhe. Lame is full of such beautiful moments and we are here to share those beautiful moments with the maker himself, Mr. Yash Chopra. Hello, good. Hello. How are you? Very well. Okay, now I've told you this number of times that Lame is my most favorite film. I know film has been able to cross what Lame was to me. I just want to, I've always wanted to ask you this and I'm so glad we had this opportunity. How was Lame born? Lame was born much before Chandni. I think I started Lamhe in 90, but the idea had come to me in 8081 when I was making Silsala. Oh. That I should make a film like this, this whole story of idea, what you call a four or five line story of idea. But everybody was scaring me, and I was also scared. It's a very, very dangerous film to make. So I thought that I'll make this film when I have a very big blockbuster at my back. Okay. So I was waiting for the moment and God gave me that moment, it was Chandni. After the release of Chandni, I decided I will only make Lamhe now. I don't have to ask anybody, I have a subject, I have some money, I can gamble. Otherwise, the whole idea in my mind will fizzle out and one day I won't even make the film. So I decided I should make the film and I went ahead. So you waited for Chandni, the big blockbuster of 89, till you went on, uh, you called Lamhe a gamble. And, uh, and, who, and at that time, you had, the story was already conceived. You already the had the story. It was conceived that uh, a boy falls in love with a girl. She's elder to him. She's his neighbor. And the girl is loves somebody else. Okay. And when the boy comes to know that she's in love with somebody else, she gets married to them and he is responsible for their marriage. Okay. So it means yeah. financially or monetarily or emotionally. Yeah, yeah. And he settled in England. He goes back, does his work. One fine morning he comes to know that girl named Pallavi mm -hmm. has met with an accident along with her husband. And she left a small daughter with a note Please look after her, because her father had died much before her marriage. So now this responsibility comes to him. He is not able to bring up the child because he is living in England. But Daija, Rose played by Vidaraman, she brings up the child. Like the way it was. So this was initially your concept. As luck would have it, this girl, who is just photocopied replica of her mother. Mm -hmm. She falls in love with this man, knowing he is so much elder and all that. Oh God. And that's the thing. Even when I was completely subject, I told some people who were involved in the film, this is a dangerous film. Why don't you change the end? I say, I have made the film only for the end. I believe that in love, there's no question of age. Generally, when a man gets married, it's beyond any kind of bad. The girl is slightly seen, not senior to him, slightly age-wise less. So how can it not happen? One day, boy is elder, because the girl is elder. Age barrier is not between the love. There's no barrier between love, according to me. Yeah. So when I made the film, film was completed in film was released, audience accepted about 16,000 feet of the film. They were with the film, they were yeah. enjoying the film, every moment of it. Last 500 feet, they didn't digest. It they say it was against, I don't know what culture or what not. It's so strange, but I, one has always ended when Lamhe is always criticized because of its uh, commercial criticism, yeah. that is. It was 
acclaimed by the classes all over the world. In fact, when we go overseas and we say that, do you know that Lamhe was not a very successful film back in India? They can't believe it can't. because it's one of their most favorite films. Lamhe and Silsila are yeah. huge overseas blockbusters. And the same country that went on to reject Lamhe commercially had accepted a Sharda in 1940, where, where, which was even a bolder theme, which had Meena Kumari and Raj Kapoor, where she was in love with him and they were lovers and he finally had, she had to marry his father and he touches her yeah. feet yeah. as his uh, stepmother. Yeah. And they accepted that in, 19, in the 1940s and in ni the 1990s they went on to reject a film like Lamhe, which is very strange for an Indian audience. Really. People told me that you have made Lamhe much before time. I don't think a question of much before time. You have made Lame today would have been successful because there was so much exposure. The sensibility of the audience had changed. Mm -hmm. But I don't think, because I again and again in the film, in a very simple manner, through the character which was played by Anubam called Prem, mm -hmm. when he says, she's in love with you, but she's, but she's not your daughter. She's Pallavi's daughter. Pallavi has nothing to do with you. Yeah. She's daughter of Pallavi is Siddharth. They are not nothing to do with you. You couldn't even utter the name of Pallavi to her. Yeah. Not the question of I love you. You were not, the whole picture we cleverly played this thing. He couldn't say even Pallavi. Yeah, because he was so much in awe so of her. So much in awe of her. Yeah. So what do you think? And that girl is in love with you. So I also feel very strange. Even still people say that you have made the picture much before time. If 90 years which before time. I can't make the film when I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so I took the plan. Even today, it's one of my most favorite films. It films. is. You've always said that, that it's very, very, very special. Very dear to me. Yes, I think. Dear I to a lot of people.